What's up everyone? Today is Monday, December 7th at 8 a.m. I'm uh, going to do a video watch this today. Uh, so let's get started. Um, OBLN, what I see on this one is almost like a potential death line here at 170 to be honest. But uh, in the morning, what I'm looking for on this is I'm looking for bounce towards VWAP. Looking for 190 and looking for two bucks. As always, the pre-market high of the day is going to be my stop on this setup. So just patiently waiting, hoping that the stock pops in the morning. Kodak, uh, honestly, this is kind of like an algo-driven uh, company type stuff. There's going to be up, down, up, down, up, down. It's going to be pretty difficult. So what I'm waiting for is I see a death line at 1120. So kind of just going to be monitoring it around that area. Um, TNXP. On these $1 stocks, I usually lose money. I'm not really that good at it. Uh, for whatever reason, I just can't, I don't know, something about it I'm just not good at. So what I like to do on these, I like to avoid them. I mean, but if we get up to, you know, 150, somewhere around here, I might not be able to avoid it. So patiently waiting, avoiding this to the most side, unless we get a pop towards 150. GTEC uh, is like an electric vehicle um, PR that just came out. Float is a million shares, some resistance around 10 bucks, which is where it failed today. I mean, I don't really know with these low float names, anything is really possible. It could go to five, it could go to 15. So basically just want to wait to see what happens. Hopefully in the morning we get a push towards nine, immediate rejection, and then we could get a short for a nail and bail type scenario, but this is not something that I'm interested in pre-market. Just patiently waiting for it to set up towards the open. And then we have the low hanging fruit from uh, last week. Pretty crazy how these just unwound at reverse zombie times. Uh, in Austin's webinar that we had uh, last Thursday, we kind of spoke as to why these stocks are kind of tanking towards the end of the day. So if you haven't seen Austin's webinar yet, highly recommend that you watch it. It's a Jeopardy game night one. So basically on this one, I'm waiting for pop towards 260, 280, and three bucks if we get there. Not really interested in shorting this week this year more so need a pop and last but not least is ppsi similar thing as hgsh so patiently just waiting for this to kind of pop towards red to green and fail uh, if there's any other stocks that pop up i will mention it to the guys in the room but you know today should be pretty straightforward uh nail and bail as always and i will see you guys at youtube live at 11 a.m today that's it